Kojimo bonus content. Let's talk about one of the biggest mistakes offers make inside of the game. Now with the op, right? It's all about being consistent and making sure you are hitting your shots, right? You have the op and it is a one shot kill. That can be make it one of the easiest guns in the game or it can make it so that if you miss your easy shot, you're dead. Whereas if you had an AK, you have room for air and you can miss your shots and still be perfectly fine. So we need to make sure that you are optimizing the way you are scoping and the way that you are playing this game to make sure that you know, you're know you playing at the highest level you can. Now with the op, one of the most common mistakes I see new players making is feeling the need to constantly double scope in, right? They're always double scoping in and why this is bad is for multiple reasons. Now, the most obvious reason is that you are actually limiting the, the range that you can see. So if I'm scoped in here, as you can see, I can see from all the way over here on this wall to all the way over here when I'm single scoped in. If I'm double scoped in, now my range is only from this wall here to not even to this barrel, right? So that is the most obvious reason is you can't see information. You can't see what's going on. And that may not sound like a big deal, but say you're arch sight on, in, on Inferno, right? And you're double scoped in because you want to get, you know, you really want to see the pixels. You really want to make sure that you're going to kill these people. That, that's fine, I guess. But the problem is you're not realizing that sometimes you're going to see flashes come in or smokes come in or, you know, stuff happen that if you're double scoped in and you're limiting your, your visibility, you're not going to see them come in over top of you, right? And another issue with this is if they ever run boost across your screen, you're going to look like an idiot because you don't react and you don't see them go over your scope. So that is the first obvious reason why you shouldn't be scoping in like that. Now, secondly, and this is something I didn't realize until I had higher tier coaches. Shout out to Mr. KJ. You were the first guy to tell me this. KJ is a coach on Bad News Eagles. And he said, Kojo, you need to stop double scoping in so much because when you're single scoped in, right? You're used to the sensitivity or used to how far you're moving. When you're double scoped in, it's much harder to turn around, right? It's a different sensitivity. So when you're double scoped in, it's like playing on a whole new sensitivity, even though it's the same sense, but it's literally like you're playing a different game, right? Whereas if you're single scoped, you can move around and you know, you know, you know what it feels like when you're double scoped, it's much different and it's going to make you miss more shots because the players might run past your screen faster. He said, Kojo, you are, you're, you're playing, you're, you're scoping in too much. You're double scoping too much and it's really hindering the way you play. So keep in mind, guys, this is something I struggled with not even a year ago and I still do struggle with it. And I've seen professional offers actually, you know, still do this kind of thing and struggle with it because it's a bad habit and it's not something that you hear very often. So I don't want to make this video too long, guys, but again, the, Another reason is you just cannot turn around. If I'm double scoped in and someone comes behind me, I am swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping and I finally get, you know, turned around to where I need to be, right? So if I'm single scoped in, it's still extremely hard, but I can get over there in one and a half swipes on my sensitivity. I'm not telling you guys to play on high sensitivity. That is not the solution to this. The solution is to stop double scoping in, guys. Only do it when there is one place they can come out and make sure that they cannot run boost over top. You know, it, it's it's very hard, but... And there, there is a time and place for double scoping. I'm not making this video telling you guys, don't double scope, don't do it. But whenever you can, really try to single scope. It's it's just gonna be much better for you and it's gonna make your life a lot more easy. If you know it's like, a, if it's a 3v1 or something and you have someone pinned down, then absolutely double scope. Absolutely double scope and try to pin them down. But for, for a lot of situations, it's just not worth it to do it and it just doesn't make too much sense to do it especially when it's a 5v5 situation or, or more so hopefully uh you guys found this tip very helpful this is something i didn't even hear until i had 10,000 hours in the game i didn't even think about something like this so if you guys are out here and you're you know you're face at level five you're silver you're no you're not even a, a great player well hey now you know some advice that i didn't even know until i was rank s 3000 elo i didn't even know this stuff guys i was in advanced on esea and i didn't even know this stuff so Stay tuned with my channel. I'm always posting content that's going to be extremely helpful for you and, you know, never miss out one of these uploads because you're really going to learn a lot from these videos. So you guys take care. Thank you so much. And make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow my socials for more. I'm always live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash kojomo1. Please come and chat with me. Come hang out. And most importantly, guys, join my Discord. Join my Discord. I, I'm talking to all of you guys in there. We're interacting. We're, you never miss when I'm alive. You never miss when I upload something. And, you know, you can just interact with my community, and it's a whole bunch of fun. So thank you guys so much. You guys all have a great day. I'm Kojamo. I'm heading out. Peace.